Uh, this video is to give you an idea of what are the average USMLE scores that are typically required for residency by residency directors. Uh, this is an average, so I'm going to show you guys uh, the website where you can get access to this information. Um, and also what the mean score is and what I mean by mean score I will try to explain that because some people don't understand uh, what an average score might actually mean before they start panicking but the first thing I want you to do is um, go on uh, your Internet Explorer or Firefox and type in right here www.nrmp.org and this is actually the National Resident Matching Program. This website basically gives you the information you need for the match when you start applying for residency but the uh, which is where you have to apply for the ERAS. Uh, but the most important thing we're talking about today is the uh, where the information is where you can get access to this uh, info. So you click on residency match and this page comes up and on your left hand side if you scroll down you can see data and reports you click on that and here comes the data these are the normal data reports that are actually usually released every year as you can see this are the results and data of 2010 uh, match main residency match uh, what you want to do and they also have it by state and specialty and by applicant you can download all these PDF documents for free so you can actually get a good idea on you know, how much people apply to a program, how much they accept, what were their average board scores. But the most important, I think, was most helpful was uh, this chart and outcomes in uh, for the match. So it gives you by uh, each uh, resident residency. So uh, if you click on this, you'll be able to download and uh, you'll be able to download the link which will pop up actually uh, but before I actually move on to that I want you to be able to go on this website future teaching physicians that is my website and you can actually directly access it uh, this website actually was designed for all medical students across the United States so you can join you can publish articles uh, you can read a lot about us uh, there's a lot of things for about the uh, different lectures that we post on videos for your uh, use and you can see here metabolic acidosis um, so you can go on this website uh, you just go straight to uh, medical students USML step one and I've actually posted a sample of the average USML scores as you can see right here so anesthesiology you see these bar lines uh, they show you a range of what the board scores you should expect should be so as you can see here anesthesia will be between around 2 11 to 12 ish right to about 237 to 36 so that will be the range of numbers people who want to apply to anesthesia and this is for 2000 that applied for the 2009 anesthesia and the average scores is about 222 um, as you can see the how further you go there's a lot more competitive residences like dermatology you know students applying for this kind of residency are looking at board scores above you know 250 and slightly you know about between 235 ish range but the average of people who are applying are within the 244 242 range and this is actually a very good uh, graph because if you're applying for residence, you kind of want to have a good idea uh, what numbers they're looking at. People don't usually tell you. But as you can see, this is for United States seniors and these are independent applicants. Um, the most important thing you want to know, uh, as you can see here, the more competitive the residence is, the higher up in the graph you can see. So, like neuro, neurological surgery, of course, you expect to be competitive. Orthopedic surgery would be very competitive. Uh, Otholaryngology, a very competitive residency. Same thing as plastics. Um, transitional year is the year where, um, if you don't match into the uh, a residency, you have to do a transition year. 
whereby uh, you have to reapply for the match. Um, so you can see pediatrics. Internal medicine has a wide range of numbers, depends on what uh, residency you're applying to. If you're applying to a highly competitive, unless you want to go to Hopkins or Harvard, obviously you want to get a really, really good score because they are one of the best uh, internal medicine residents in the country, so people are applying with 240s. Uh, but you can always get into internal medicine with a, you know, uh, like a 210 within that range, even lower than that if possible. It depends on which residency you're applying for. Uh, be aware that these are all averages, so people that get even lower scores to get into this residency. So even if you get a lower score, you shouldn't be discouraged. But I would encourage if you get like a 190, uh, thinking you want to apply for dermatology, because as you can see, the people that are applying for this uh, residencies are very competitive. Um, I mean, also, if you're an independent applicant, you know, your average is a little bit higher. So you want to make sure you do really, really well in these board exams. Um, and if you want to do family medicine, obviously, the expected board scores are not as high, um, you know, compared to other, like, more competitive residency. Um, you can see the USMLE scores. The average overall is 224 and a standard deviation of 19.6. What that means is if you subtract 19.6 from um, uh, 224.3, which will be around, let's see, uh, 16. I said it's 20, how about 204? If you roughly like, if you round it up to 20. Uh, like 204 that would be your lowest and also uh, your highest score will be around 244 so that's a bit within the range of what people score so that's a standard deviation is like you know, plus or minus 20 you know in between that range and the average is like 225 so you could be higher or, or lower uh, independent applicants board scores are within 211 plus or minus 17 19.7 uh, this is actually no more accurate. The passing score right now is 189, and the two-digit score is 175. As you can see, this is for 2009. Uh, chart and outcome for this year is already 189, and you can be able to find it on the USMLE website. Now, if you go to uh, USMLE.org, you should be able to find this. So, let's see. USMLE.org and um, click on step one and you'll be able to give you information regarding what the new passing score is. Obviously it's changed a little bit. They have orientation materials here that you can use and download for your own format. Um, so, so I, you know, I would encourage you to go on this website and uh, it'll be able to give you a lot more information. I'm just trying to see if we can find where the uh, new information regarding each uh, the passing score for the exam is now. But it's definitely changed, so I wouldn't go by what you have uh, on the website here, especially what the scores on this website are. Uh, but I would very encourage students to make sure they do very well on these exams. Uh, they're yeah, relatively and very challenging, uh, but if you put in enough work and effort, uh, you'll be able to do well. Um, I've actually published a book that's coming out soon on how to prepare for the USMLE. And this should help students um, get international graduates or people in the United States um, to actually know how to take this test. If you have any questions, uh, you can contact me and um, thank you.